In this video, I'm going to go over some of the um, material dot design short codes that I came up with. So I'm just going to edit this sample page here. So on the dashboard, I went to pages, all pages, sample page, of course. And then if you have the plugin activated, that came with the theme, you'll see this little icon here it has this drop down menu. So what I'm going to first do. Now you can insert these short codes on any page or any post. Just, you know, let's pick for example a button. Comes up with some options that you can put in here. You know, colors, waves, the size of the button. I'm just going to insert that one in there. And let's update that page. And refresh and see you have the button right there. You can change things like blue, you know, to red. Maybe we want white text. Update that. Turns to red with white text. So you can see these options right here, and you can make any kind of changes you want. You can actually get the colors and everything from materialize css.com. They have a color section. You can see all these other options as well, but we try to insert them there for you so you don't have to look too hard. But now I'm going to go into some more of the other short codes. But first, I'm going to change this page template to Page Builder and update that. Refresh this page. You notice that it goes full width, there's no containers or anything. So I'm going to set that with short codes. First, I'm going to turn off this comment section. So make sure your screen options are on, and then discussion is checked. And you go down here, you can remove that comment, update, refresh. Notice the comments are gone. All right, so let's do some stuff here. So the first thing I'm going to do is add parallax image. Notice it spits out this code here. This URL is for the link to the image, so in our media, I'm just going to go find something in our uploaded folder here. I think this will look pretty cool. So let's just grab this URL, copy it, paste it into here. Notice you can also give it an alt text, so update that. Let's see what it looks like. So now we have this cool image up top here. See how our text is you know, spread across the whole thing? We need to add a container here. So we can usually do that up here, grid, container. Let's just get that closing block right there and put it at the end of the copy. So now if we refresh, notice that it's nice right in the middle. So I also have these other grid you know you can add whatever you'd like so let's go ahead and add a three column grid or something so we need to first add the container so it's not all the way full width inside this container oops, let's go ahead and add three columns so it spits out this column code for you and you can change these large to any size you want and you can also do like small equals 12 so however you want it to look like on a small device a medium device and then a large device so small this is like iPhones and you know mobile devices medium would be like a tablet and large is desktop so you don't necessarily have to put these in there but you know you may want to do different breakpoints so if we update that see that we have an error because there's not a space here update that again you see the content is in three columns there so that goes over you know the grid short code and the container the parallax there's also these other short codes I mean that that's all the containers there's also a button drop down. You can see all these on our demo in the short codes demo page. You know, we have other 
components as well, all the different icons, all the uh, material icons are in here. You can use all those if you want. Some cool sliders, some modal tabs, tooltip, collapsible, and then just some extra stuff like spacing and dividers. So this comes in handy, the spacing one comes in handy a lot. Let's say we want to put like a header right here. Let's make it header one, update. I already put some spacing in here for us, but sometimes you may want to add even more spacing. So you know, in this in this row or this container, or even above this container, you can add the spacing and then you can pick how many pixels you want. Let's say 100. Update that. Refresh the page. You'll see that there's now even more spacing here. See the spacing was added with a height of 100. So you can evenly space some things out on the page you want. It makes it real nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one more example here before I close out this video and do this modal. It's just a cool little option that you can use to show some content in a different way. So notice that it's not in a container, so it's over here on the left hand side. So if we pop that, that's the title and the content and the whatever text you want here, but this button closes it. You can also click outside the box and it'll also close it. So again, this is outside the container, so if we wanted that in the middle of the page, we could either add it to this container down here, or you know we can just create another container here and put it below the modal. Update that page, and it's over here. So this is when that spacing would come in handy. If we wanted it down a little bit more, so inside this container, we add some spacing. Now let's give it 40 pixels, update that, refresh, see it's off of the bottom of the image now. So that's a quick little video. If you have any questions about any of the other shortcodes or the options, feel free to reach out. Thanks.